and here we see the coral in its natural environment amongst the tropical fish and the beautiful coral reef. Hey guys, Skippy here for Rube Skippy 6 Gaming. Coming to you guys, we have got the snapshot again four days in a row. We got uh, ATW10D, which is the fourth one in a row, and they have now put the coral in the water in the world to, uh, yeah, natural admiration. So uh, we're going to take a look at it. Before that, we're going to go into uh, 447 likes. If you love this new update, aquatic stuff, OMGZ. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, uh, Rage, Donnie, and Nagy, newest members of Squad 6. So, fire! I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, let's uh, go over to the shore. The one thing I'm going to tell you guys is that took me about 15 minutes of flying around to find that coral. They're actually super rare. It has to be warm water, I think. So, uh, yeah, let's jump down here. Starts out with a tweet this morning. I was kind of, you know, in my head, I'm like, I don't think there's going to be another update today. I was getting ready to make, you know, like a useless lever video or something like that. And, uh, yeah, I saw this tweet right here. We got a dinner bone tweet. This one on the screen. Yeah, baby, yeah. Super sneaky Friday snapshot. And, yeah, so then what are we going to do? Let's do the change log, guys. Basically, that brings us right back to the same snapshot page. Snapshot 18W10D. Uh, there is only going to be one major change part. I think that's pretty interesting. Uh, let's go over here. We're just going to pop this guy open. Change number one. So pretty much just this box. Then there is bug fixes. I will tell you about the bug fixes as well. Uh, allow more blocks to have water in them. Water no longer goes through solid faces. Coral now generates naturally. Big optimization to how clouds are rendered. Phantoms now burn in sunlight. You can now undye shulker boxes in a cauldron. So, uh, actually, in fact, I'm not even gonna go over the bug changes, the bug fixes, or uh, look at this slash set time day <laughs> slash time set day. There we go. So that just shows you how long I had to fly around to find this guy. Um, I will have a link to the change log in the description if you want to look over the bug fixes. It didn't look like anything big and we have stuff to look at. So let's go over here and let's start talking about the coral. They added the coral, the dead coral, all that jazz yesterday. Uh, but now we have this. So you can see how it naturally spawns uh, in the world. This is completely natural. This is the first coral I found after flying around for a very, 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 very long time. Uh, I did find a ruin with a buried treasure map. So, uh, I don't know. We could take a look at that on our way. But as you can see, it looks really cool. I'm going to just be quiet for 10 seconds and float around because it's harder to find these tropical fish. And there you go. That's as quiet as I could be for as long as I could be quiet. So, uh, it is a lot rarer to find them. I'm not even joking. It's They were really hard to find. I flew around a long time. And this is right here is the only one I can find. If we go up and down this coast here, uh, there's a little bit more right over here. We got turtles spawning there. Guys, come on. This is so awesome. More coral right here. Looks like this one's like a little house kind of. It takes shape like a house. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. The other one over there did the same thing. Um, so it looks like at least we're in warm waters here for sure. We got a huge crevice that goes right down. Look at that. Looking good. This is a nice little area for a house. I really enjoy this update aquatic stuff. So let's look at something else, guys. Let's talk about water. Let's just grab some buckets of water. So I'm not even sure. I know that yesterday's was the water physics. Uh, was the water physics to uh, basically the update and it gave us something like you know stairs so let's just do this um, it says that it added an additional one so uh, what we're gonna do is try to figure out what it is because uh, your understanding is gonna be as good as mine let's go ahead so basically what you can see is uh, a perfect example is if you just dig this ground out and put this guy here this can happen you could just fill that half uh, basically if that was a half slab it would work the other way that's water physics so I'm curious as to what other blocks 
that's gonna be what we test out now what other blocks is it that so they did it to stairs they did it to fences they did it to railings uh, I'm just gonna scroll through here and see what other blocks can have water because they didn't say what it was so I'm assuming it's not a rail but we're gonna try a rail just in case they went ball like balls to the wall and did that I don't know if I could say that or not <laughs> I'm like I'm like why not so they already did this they already did that so end rods I bet you is something that they've probably made it so that you can put water on I don't think they did pressure plates but honestly I'm curious we just gotta make sure uh, let's see do you think they did buttons I don't know let's see what else stands out trap doors that's another one they might do okay so let's try it out so trap door oh you could totally put water on a trap door oh my gosh that is like a game I that breaks tons of stuff dude because people use people use trap doors to hold water back this is pretty crazy okay so let's try a button no it just washes the button away okay so that's good how about a pressure plate so pressure plates just stop it fair enough what if we try to add water to a pressure plate no it won't let you what about this guy right here no it washes it away that's good and rod I bet you you can I bet you can nope washes it away let's keep going back we got to find out what it is so as of now trap doors seem to be the one that they're talking about so that's uh, a little bit of a messy situation actually uh, because literally trap doors I use a lot to stop water <laughs> um, I guess it doesn't matter I guess you can still stop so uh, let's keep going fence gates guaranteed this is one of the things I think they changed uh, let's keep going down do you think tripwire hook? That's another one we can try out. Walls. Uh, and no, I don't think an anvil will. Uh, daylight sensor, I'm betting, is in that mix somewhere. That's a pretty unique idea. Let's keep going. So we already know trap doors. I don't think carpet would work. You know, maybe if carpet works, I didn't try that one. So let's let's try this new round. So daylight sensor. No wall oh looks like they added cobblestone wall let's see tripwire nope tripwire hooks breaks I guarantee fence gate is gonna be like that too no not fence gate what if a fence gate is open nope okay and I think that's it man I think we did most of the stuff I'm trying to think of what else there could be we might as well go through the list it's not gonna be a very long video uh, turtle eggs maybe we never tried carpet we never tried that let's keep going doors that's another one we got to try uh, let's keep going so hopefully signs let's double check signs guys because I'm gonna tell you right now I haven't tested it but if if you can hold water on sign that's gonna be a really weird one for us here so uh, let's keep going I want to try item frames remind me remind me to try item frames uh, cauldron we're gonna get that after anyway so basically I don't need to show you that you can undie call shulker boxes now with a cauldron I don't think you guys need to see that uh, this guy here let's see if a uh, head will work as well and armor stand that's gonna be a test for us uh, I don't think that spider webs are gonna work so a head No, knocks it off. A door. Nope, doesn't work. What is here? Oh, this pig's been... Get out of here, bro. So, item frame. That's one. It'll knock it off, I think. Oh, this guy's beefy. Hey, he wants a piece. Get out of here. This guy wants a little action. Okay. <gasps> item frames hold water now, too. Uh-huh. So, that's pretty interesting. Uh, what else did I have here? Armor stand. Let's try this. Armor stands too. Look at this. We're doing it. We're doing it. I did good. Do you think carpet? No. Gone. I tried. That was pretty good. So that means that signs are going to be a thing. Watch. I'm telling you right now. Look. Signs in water. This is going to be a major game breaker. Uh, not game breaker, but it changes things big time because now... 
Before I used to use everybody using signs. Like signs can go right through water. But that's the thing is you could still use it to stop water. So watch. Uh, if this guy right here, so say let's put a door here or let's break this, leave this here. So say we have our sign right here. Let's just do this and then get rid of this guy. Notice the water doesn't flow past it, but it can if you make it a source block. Uh, so that's interesting. I don't know how much it's going to break. I don't think it's that bad, but having signs underwater could be cool. And uh, yeah, I think uh, phantoms now burn in sunlight. So let's do a uh, phantom right here. Phantom. So this should die as soon as we pop it off. Oh, instantaneous. Instantaneous. And there you go. Let's see. Optimization, optimization on clouds. Here we go. So water no longer goes through solid faces. So that's pretty interesting. I'm not sure exactly what they mean uh, by that 100%. Uh, a lot more blocks to have water in them. Okay, so then what we're testing right now is clouds. So this is the big change with clouds. So they look more square to me. They look like they have more depth a little bit, like there's an actual square there. I'm not sure that uh, that's my first choice of understanding, but I think they look different for sure. I'm almost certain they look different. They just look more like white blocks, you know, a little firmer. I don't know, that's interesting. Either way, enjoy it, guys. The snapshot's out now on uh, Java Edition. If you have Java, play it. And uh, yeah, we should be seeing all of this stuff. I've been seeing tons of tweets from the Bedrock Edition guys uh, about porting this over. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the next one.